This lovely textured stitch is called the Eye of the Partridge Stitch. And it's a great way to add some interest and some sturdiness to your heel flap of your top down sock. So it makes this basically diamond checkered pattern and it's just a pattern of slipping and knitting stitches on your heel flap. Just ignore this, this is the edge right here, you can't really see the pattern here as much, but from about here you can really see how that checkered pattern comes out and how cute it looks. Um, so it's a sequence of three rows that you repeat, well it's actually four rows, um, two of the rows are just purling, and this is how it goes. And I'm going to show it to you, the way I'm going to show it to you is I'm going to go through the sequence once with you, I'm going to do it continental style, and then I'm going to go through it again American style and give you some hints as to some common mistakes that come up when people are, are doing this stitch. So, let's get started. The sequence starts out with slipping the first stitch and knitting the second one. So just slip it like this from the left hand needle to the right hand needle without doing anything. Then go ahead and knit the next stitch. And we're going to repeat those two all the way down to the end, making sure that you end with a knit one. And if your heel flap has um, an even number of stitches, you will end with a knit one. And you can go ahead and pull this tight. This a slip stitch, we really want to tighten that up right there where we did not knit it right there. So you don't have to leave it loose like you might want to in other fabrics like mosaic stitch. Alright, let's see, here we go. So we just knitted, so let's go slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, and slip, knit. Good. Alright, from here you're going to want to turn, just like that. And if you're working on a sock, which you probably are, you're going to have the rest of the sock right here, right? Don't worry about it, just turn your work around and leave that part just as it is, don't even touch it. Right, moving the yarn to the front, because we're going to purl, go ahead and slip the first stitch on the purl side, like that. And then we're going to purl across these stitches that we have on the needle. Um, the instructions say slip one, purl across, right? A lot of people misunderstand that, and they go slip one, purl one, slip one, purl one, slip one, purl one, all the way across. Don't do that. That's not right. Just slip one, oops, and purl all the way across. Easier this way. Why do we slip the first stitch of every row, do you know? It's, yeah, it looks nicer, but also because on a heel flap, you're going to be picking up these stitches, right? And joining them back up to your sock, and it's really nice to have this elongated row of stitches that's so easy to pick up into, right? Like that. So that is why we slip the first stitch of every row on a heel flap. Alright, the second pattern sequence for the knit side goes like this. Slip two. Just like that. And then we're going to go knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one all the way across, making sure that we end with a knit two over here. Okay, we don't want to end with a slip. That wouldn't work. All right. So knit one, slip one. Knit one, slip one. And knit two. Good. Easy, right? Okay. You know what to do. All the wrong side rows, or all the pearl side rows, move the yarn to the front. Slip the first stitch, like that. And let's pearl across. So we've just finished, or we're about to finish, one whole sequence of this pattern. Oh, am I going too fast? Okay. Lovely. Ready. All right. I'm going to show you the same, the same stitch pattern one more time through. Oh, it's so pretty. So ignore these border stitches right here. They don't look as good. They're going to be picked up, but these are the ones that look nice. So, doing this American style, let's go over some of the questions that people 
commonly have as we go through this again. All right, first, does it matter which way I slip? Do I have to slip knitwise or pro-wise? And no, it really doesn't matter as long as you're consistent. Um, what I tell people is that if you want, you can slip knitwise like this on every knit row and then slip pro-wise on every pro row. I happen to just slip every slip stitch pro-wise. For me, that's a lot easier than having to keep track, and I think it looks fine. Um, here, I think I recommend that you just slip everything pro-wise. But in general, it really doesn't matter. All right, oops. Let's do some purling backwards. I do show you this in another video in the in the socks in the different sock ebooks, um, in the Superstar ebook. Um, this for me is a nice, quick way to whoops to work back across my work without having to turn it and retension my yarn. Right, so we're just purling backwards now. I think you can search my YouTube channel as well for purling backwards, although the YouTube search isn't the greatest. Alrighty. Let's talk about what happens when you don't remember where you are. Okay? Like, for instance, I don't remember if I'm on the... <clears throat> the first pattern row or the second row, row number three. I don't remember. Let's do this American style. Um, so how can I tell, right? Because I don't like it when you guys have to write stuff down, cover your notebook with little with little marks about where you are. I'm just going to fix this really quick. See how that didn't come out very well? Right there. Oh, wake up. There we go. I'm just going to fix that while we're talking. Um, so what you can do is look at your knitting to find out. All right, and looking at my knitting, it doesn't look that good. There we go. That's better. Um, all right, there's the first stitch. I already slipped it. So let's look at the pattern here. Slipped stitches are elongated. They didn't get knitted. So one stitch basically has to cover two rows of knitting, and it gets elongated like this. Can you see them? Can you see the slipped stitches? There's one. We're looking just down one row. There's one. There's one. There's one. And there's one. And we're going to alternate where they are, right, to make the diamond pattern really show up. We're going to alternate where they are. So, just find a slip stitch, there's one, and say, okay, this time I'm not going to slip that one, I need to knit it, right? So just go knit, and then count backwards. Slip, knit, slip. So it looks like we're on row three, which we already knew because we've been following along, but slip two, and then knit one, slip one, all the way across. So a similar question, how do you know if you... Let's see, how do you know where you are in the row, right? If you just slipped one or if you just knitted one? You can look at, um, look at where your yarn is and look at what it just did. Give it a pull. See how it's attached to this loop right here? It's part of this loop. Okay, I just knitted that. I made that loop just now. So it's time for me to slip. If I don't remember where I am and I just slipped a stitch, just go ahead and look at where your yarn is. You can see, oh, it's not attached to that stitch at all attached to this one. So I just did a knit slip, now it's time to knit again. And I know it may sound silly, but if you're in your knitting group and you're chatting happily, you're going to look down and be like, where am I? What What is it time to do? And I just look at your knitting, look at your yarn, look at where those elongated stitches are. There they are. There's our new elong elongated stitches right there. And they alternate in this lovely diamond pattern. So we can purl across one last time. I know you guys don't really want to see me pearl American style, right? Ah, we gotta slip that one. No, I promised to be fair. Here we go. Got my yarn in front. There we go. And we can see how this looks once we've done two repeats of this pattern. Another thing to note is that this pattern looks best when you are knitting nice and snug. When you're knitting with size 2 needles with fingering weight yarn, the, I think that the tighter you knit this texture pattern, the better it looks, the more the slip stitches show up. All right.
Alright, there we have it, this eye of the partridge stitch. So try it on your next heel flap. Oh, see, doesn't it look pretty? Try it on your next heel flap and it will add a little bit of interest to the back of your sock.